Hi, and welcome to another very weird video. Um, so... So this is a weird video. This is my pitch, the 3.3. Now this channel, General Heat, is a channel that has exposed, if you would, things that have been found secretly throughout all the Halo games. All of them! I don't think he's done much Halo 5, but then again, there is no modding tools for Halo 5, so. But, I gave a few examples. Uh, he's done like uh, this new one from an hour ago. The elephant can protect you from the guardians. Fascinating. Uh, he did a fight. He did made it, modded it to where Johnson would fight three four three himself. I have watched this one. I don't know the result. Um, there are secret zombie and marine, uh, uh, zombie marine and grunt noises that they emit if you give them J Johnson's and Arbiter's rehabilitation. Uh, like if, like you when you shoot Johnson in the face, he just drops, waits three seconds, gets up all pissed. The grunts and the marines, they have like they make zombie noises or recycle their flood infected noises. The grunts, they just go. Actually, I'll show you. For some reason, this TV's broken. It, everything's very quiet right now. I hope you can hear it. You can't even hear it? I can't even hear it. My, the TV's all fucked. Um, I've got the volume on full. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Finishing Halo CE and 2. Now, what do I mean by this? Um, we're just going to go over here a bit. So, in Halo CE, perfect example, the Mangled Marine is cut content. I, what I want to do is I want to take all the cut content and like levels, cutscenes, characters, marines, etc. And I want to put them in the game and make a finished version of Halo CE. Engineers, mangled marines. Um, I want to do it for Halo 2. The space blimp, the juggernaut, the troop variant, uh, troop transport shadow. For some reason, that's not actually in the game. Um, it's there. It's just sitting there. It's you can find one, but they don't use it. It's not used. Why? Time constraints. Um, I have it in G mod, man. I just realized I have the model of a classic Halo Two. I'm talking to Loki. I have it in G mod. <laughs> I have the. Little thing, it just sits there. It, it's it's hitbox literally does this, literally comes out like that. It's just a giant triangle. Can't even stand on it. Anyway, um, that is a Halo Two Warthog run. Now this is a revisit he did, and he's showing it in anniversary graphics. This is a Reese's commercial. I'm sorry, Reese's. I don't give a damn. Uh, you can't hear anything, which I guess is fine. But this is this is a Halo 2 Warthog run. Now he's showing it in anniversary graphics. Stop. Go back. Go back to go back to normal. Or not? Okay. Um, but like the fact that the Marines can kill a Scarab in Halo 3 is really fascinating. 
just goes do, do that. This is a shout out video as well as a pitch to 343. Um, 343, hire this man. <laughs> um, let's see. The engineer. Originally was Halo CE. You can actually spawn these things in modding the game. You just mod the game, you can spawn them. They actually have animations. They are fully animated. They don't move or anything, and they have no AI, but they are animated. And when you shoot them, I think they face you sometimes. Um, and they are default enemy, which is all good, which is really cool. They wanted the engineers, and what was cut eventually came to be. And I would make a version of the engineers in Halo 2. Uh, why not? Why not add to what is cut? Um, <laughs> this I would only add to one multiplayer level and only one weapon that makes you do this. If you do wield two plasma pistols on a specific Halo 2 map, you will do that. If you, uh, I will actually add uh, a sprint ability to Halo 2 because the new armor would it makes sense. Halo CE can't sprint too bulky. Halo 2 can because it's thinner and more maneuverable. That's my head cannon for it. It makes sense. Um, and speaking of fat of speedy um, abilities, uh, also I will be adding the health system to Halo 2. Because it makes sense. I do it to Halo 3 too, but this is my pitch for Halo CE and 2. Finished. Um, anyway, uh, where is it? Where is it? Also, I would, if I could do 3 as well, I would, I would make it where the Flood drove vehicles. I would make it the where the Flood drove vehicles in CE. I would do that shit. I would do that shit. Also, oh, this is a new outfit. Um, I don't know if it's anything good. It's kind of stupid, not gonna lie. Uh, but I liked it. I like, the, I like the clothes themselves, they just don't look good on me. I spat everywhere. Um, uh, apparently that's called an escort banshee. You find it in one level, it doesn't do much. Anyway, where is it? CE campaign having the flame flamethrower? Yes, please! I would only add it to two levels. The maw and... What was the other one? I think it was just the mall. Yeah. Um, what the rates would be drivable in CE. He doesn't. He hasn't made that a thing yet. I just want that to be a thing. Because CE is the only one game in the Halo Halo franchise that doesn't have a drivable rate, which is weird. Um. That vehicle would be finished. I would finish that vehicle. I'd also fix up the look of it. It's looking a bit too Halo 4 for Halo 2. That Halo 2 right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's some goofy videos. That! The double speed, I call it the up speed, but uh, the uh, speed boost, sorry. I'm joking, it's not speed boost. Uh, I call it up speed, where you you get faster while time gets slower. Um, it's, a, it's an ability that t slows time down. Does that make sense in Halo Canon? No, but it was an actual concept and it functions uh, somewhat. I'll show you the problems that this ability has right now. Uh, the textures are also broken because it was never properly textured. Um, and they're different per thing. Plus the color inside changes. So, when you get faster, these are supposed to be going slower, but the glitch, but this is, an, this is in, I think, MCC, not CE itself, um, but uh, I, think he, I think he's doing this MC, MCC PC, so, um, <clears throat> there's, they are moving slower, but the game doesn't understand, doesn't have the proper coding. Modern day, this stuff's easy to do, but this is 2001. They were starting to start.
started doing this like 1999. Technology wasn't the best for gaming back then. Um, but I would just fix this. I would make it so everything just goes slow. And I would also shorten how long it takes because it lasts for like five to like seven minutes. I would make it to like four to five minutes. I think it's a little too long the way it is now. Um, anyway, I do love this ability concept though. That for CE alone will have this ability. I don't think I'll be adding it to two. I don't think it'll make sense. I mean, I could, but I don't know. It doesn't fit. I don't know. Um, the gravity rifle. I so the build that this the, this version of the gravity rifle, the unfinished thing, uh, the official thing, <coughs> is a flamethrower, a repaint remodeled flamethrower. That's all it does. What I would do is I would take the gravity rifle and make it to where it's a short burst of flame, like just pure beam. It's like a brute weapon, it's like a pssst. Just pure heat. Uh, and it, will, it knocks back the opponent. Shoot it, they go flying, and they're on fire for a few seconds. Um, <clears throat> I, I can imagine it's a brute weapon. By the way, I would be adding brutes to CE. I would just add the Halo 2 brutes to Halo CE. Um, I would fix this glitch in Halo 2. I would add the mongoose. That's right, in the beta of Halo 2, you can find a mongoose. What? You can also find a co covenant flamethrower, but I think that has to be spawned in. I don't think that was actually in the beta. The world may never know. Actually, it does. That's why I know about it. I'm just saying that. But I would add the mongoose to the finished Halo 2. And I would actually add it to just about every human level, except for Data, Data, Data. Delta Halo and the level that follows. Um, the levels on Earth mainly will have the Mongoose. I'm not sure if I'll be adding Mongoose to any other levels after the Covenant Flamethrower. I would change it to where it's more of a projectile, like, kind of like the plasma plasma pistol from Fallout 3. It's like a, or just, just the big ball of magma that comes at you. That's what the Covenant Flamethrower. Now, it is gonna be a flamethrower. It will shoot these in repetition. It's not gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a, that's how I imagine finishing this thing. Also, I would fin I would change the model. Um, that's what that's the barrel. That's the shoulder mount. These are going to be cells that will sit on top that you can go that will go. I don't know. This is my pitch to hit about three, four, three. Um, I would add the other variants to warthogs, two C E and two. The troop transport found on Earth. Uh, the gold, the, the gold, the hog, will be an Easter egg found outside one of, found outside one map in CE and two. Why? Because we love that thing. They only added the only you fuckers only added to Halo three and Halo two anniversary. We need it again. Um, I would, you know how you did a skull for the scarab gun. That's actually a thing found up outside the boundaries of Halo 2 Classic, which I still have never gotten to. Oh, God. The one thing I still need to achieve in the original game, at least. Um, I would make a separate skull. That's the Phantom Gun, that's the Phantom gun skull. Because that is the Phantom Gun. Uh, in the Halo 2 uh, cutscene where... Arbiter gets dropped off and is about to be attacked by an enforcer. I can't remember the name of levels, man. Um, off the side, this is what shoots that enforcer. It's not a phantom, but that. Uh, I'll show you. Um, or I'll hide the fact that this is a trident gum ad, and that now I can skip it. Phantom's just flipping over. You saw 
saw it shoot. That's what shoots them, the enforcer. That gun. I would make a skull or a plasma or a plasma rifle specifically would be that, and I would hide it outside this level. Why? Because we need I don't know, I feel like it's better another achievement you could do. And it would unlock the Phantom Skull, you know, for future use. The Phantom Skull I feel like it's gonna be much better than the Scarab Gun. The Phantom Gun is gonna be much better than the Phantom Scarab Gun. Not better in terms of damage. If you want to be on outskirts and have the Scarab Gun, just stand on a roof and just go, go for it. Have fun. I do it every other day. I don't. I just find more ways of escaping the game. <laughs> um, I found some fascinating stuff about the boundaries of Halo 2. It is weird, man. There is an entire walkway that is unmapped, well, untextured, that I found outside of outskirts right at the start of the game. If y'all want to see a video on that, let me know. I would gladly go over it. I would take Johnson and just knock him around out there. Because it's not hard to do. Um, anyway, I would make that a skull. I would make that a skull or and a gun you would find. Um, that's just a plasma pistol that randomly spawns outside at the very edge of this map in Halo 2. Uh, I don't know why no one does. Uh, uh, I would uh, remove these switches. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're just unused assets. Um, they are still trying to figure out what these switches actually do, if anything. Um, I would also remove the tri-gates. I keep one tri-gate, but as an easter egg. I keep one of these switches, but as an Easter egg. Um, that wouldn't be a thing. <laughs> this is Halo 3. I can't talk about Halo 3. Um, what else see? I would implement these. These are unused. These are cut content. Um, what it is is the elites and the grunts have an animation that lets them get up to the sh shade turret on top of the shadow, the shadow shade turret. Um, and they actually have a run up animation. I'm not going to show you because I don't need to. Um, I would just put that in the game. You don't ever see them get on, they just spawn in, which is a bit annoying. I would also uh, remake this multiplayer map to where the train is destroyable, uh, but you have to make sure you do enough damage in one run of the train, or else you can't destroy the, that train. Uh, I would also add the curlback grunts to Halo 2. Why? Because they are only in CE. I love the curlback grunts. I don't. I just, I just wish they were in more games, man. I just wish they were in any other game. <coughs> I would also make it where you can shoot off armor armor plates to the enemies. Uh, like say a goat elite is coming at you. You want to shoot off his helmet? You can shoot off his helmet. You want to shoot off his shoulder pads? You can shoot off his shoulder pads. You want to be able to punch him in the chest so hard his fucking chest piece blows off? You can do that. Uh, it won't actually just blow off. It will dent in though. And he, he will be bleeding. There will be drips of blood. He won't die from it. He'll just, he'll, he'll just take the damage from the melee. It's more of a prosthetic thing. Not a gameplay element. Um... Too. He's got the right idea. Backporting is what I would do. I would do a lot of backporting. Not the energy sword. You will not be using the energy sword in Halo CE. I am sorry, but Halo CE does not need the energy sword. Um,
had ju the Juggernaut. Uh, there's actually a bunch of suit, like cutscenes that were cut. Cut cutscenes, which is really hard to say for some reason. But I would add those cutscenes. Uh oh, I think someone's awake. Yeah, that's the mother person. But, um, yeah, I will be adding cutscenes, characters, enemies. Halo 2 doesn't have a cut engineer in its game files, but I would be making an engineer. I won't be able to model or texture it because I don't know that kind of crap, but I will try and animate it if I have to. Um, but I think y'all get the point. Um, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, this will be an unedited video. Uh, so that's cringe. <laughs> so this is that's this has been my ah, woo. This has been my fucking idea to three four three. Uh, let's hope they find this video. If anyone who watches this, share the shit out of it and tag three four three on Instagram. Fucking do it, please and thank you. No promises, the world may never know.